Crayola makes up to 700 million plastic markers a year, and now they are turning dried up markers into fuel good enough to be used in boilers, ships, and even your car. Crayola partnering with New York clean energy company JBI, creating the Color Cycle Initiative. About 600 schools around the country so far joining up to recycle their old markers for free. Crayola then ships them to JBI where entire markers are melted and compressed in machines to make clean fuel, which is mostly turned to diesel, the fuel used by companies like U.S. Steel and fuel dealers. Since 2010, JBI has produced 600,000 gallons of clean fuel from plastics. It's an excellent way to handle uh, unrecyclable plastics, and it's a very critical one because only 8 to 9 percent of the plastic in the U.S. is actually recycled. The rest of it goes to landfill. Crayola manufactures 60 percent of the world's markers in eastern Pennsylvania, but markers are tough to recycle. Many customers don't bother because they have to strip the ink out first. But Crayola hopes they have found an environmentally sustainable solution that will also serve as a teaching moment for kids in schools. When they sign up, they have immediate access to lesson plans on sustainability. So they are actually able to help children understand how they can take an active role in improving their environment for tomorrow. Crayola does not make a profit off this initiative. They hope to one day recycle up to 70 million markers a year. Students can get their schools to sign up for the program at Crayola.com backslash color cycle. In New York, Brian Yenis, Fox News.